Welcome back to my Madden 23 quarterback career mode with quarterback Dylan Grayson. Today we are looking for our first win of our rookie season still, and we are going into week four against the Tennessee Titans. And it looks like this week we need to get a first down on all the plays, so that should be interesting. Let's throw this underneath. That's caught by 83, who will get the first down. I don't even know who 83 is, to be honest. Really not a fan of this game plan here, but we'll run the play fake, and now we're going to go downfield for Michael Pittman, who will make the catch for another first down. And this play, we're looking to go deep. So let's see if anyone wants to come open and not really seeing it, but we will lob this deep downfield. I think we just overthrew everybody by about 10 yards. Pretty sure we almost hit those practice dummies back there. But now the next play, we will go deep again, and this one will be caught by Michael Pittman. And so for like, I think the third or fourth week in a row now, we will get the silver badge. Doesn't really matter what I do on this play. Good, because that's incomplete. And now before we jump into the game, we do have a text from our coach. So let's see what he has to say. Still, the team is struggling. We're losing games and our offense is constantly underperforming out there. Hey, first of all, we had a 21-0 lead last week. We're not going to talk about how we like didn't score a single point after that. Well, we did get a field goal. But like, maybe you should blame the defense a little bit. So do me a favor, speak up, call your teammates, challenge them to be better. It'll be more if it's coming from the starting QB. How about I just take accountability because I did throw four interceptions. If we don't win our next game, calling guys out is only going to make things worse. You need to do your part. I'm challenging you to lead the offense to three touchdowns this week. Plus 10 morale for all quarterbacks. And lead your offense to three offensive touchdowns against the Titans. Okay, so we don't have to throw touchdowns. We just need to get like Jonathan Taylor into the end zone, like worst case scenario. But let's go ahead and get ready and jump into week four against the Titans, who are also 0-3. The Titans would get the ball first, but could not score. So it is 0-0 as we come out of the 14-yard line at the handoff to Jonathan Taylor on the first play of the game. He is running for a decent gain here of 13. Taylor, are we just going to be able to run the ball with you all day? First and 10 from the 27. They only have three down linemen here. And Taylor will get the handoff, but the three down linemen get to him. All right, we will try a pass play here. Second and 11. Take the snap and throw this underneath. Caught by Paris Campbell, who is now a star Def Drake, and he will get brought down to the 31. And now it's time for the slant routes that I really relied heavily on last week. Let's see if we can go back to him this week, and we will go over the middle. Caught by Paris Campbell again, this time for the first down. First and 10 from the 44. We will run the play action. Now looking downfield, and we will go downfield to Mo Alley Cox for the catch into Tennessee territory. He is brought down near the 30. All right, I guess he was closer to the 35 than the 30, but we are at the 33-yard line now. First and 10, and we will go right back to Jonathan Taylor, and Taylor will get a few yards here. The last run was a gain of two, now second and eight from the 30, and we're going to run a counter play to Jonathan Taylor. They are blitzing a safety, and that backfires massively, and Jonathan Taylor is gone. Touchdown Colts on our first drive of the game. And Tennessee would get a field goal to make it 7-3. to three. We will come out on first down and give it right back to Taylor. And Jonathan Taylor to the outside with a gain of about 9 here. If they allow me to just run the ball with Jonathan Taylor all day, right now averaging over 10 yards a carry, they are going to get murdered today and another first down. First and 10 from the 43. We come out in a 5-wide set. No Jonathan Taylor on the field. Actually, I lied. He's in at receiver. But we'll take the snap. And he doesn't come open. We're going to try to run. Never mind. We're getting sacked. All right, what do you say we just go back to Jonathan Taylor? It was working pretty well. Second and 13, we will take the snap and give it to Taylor, and this time Taylor won't get much on the play. That'll set up a third and 12. Let's see if we can get the first down here on third down. Out of shotgun, we'll take the snap, and we're going to lob that downfield for Michael Pittman, and once again did not put enough air under it. But the defense does get us the ball back, still 7-3, to three, and we will come out with a handoff to Taylor, who will break a tackle and get a couple yards. Going right back to him here on second and eight from the 44. Line up under center and go right to Jonathan Taylor, and Taylor will get another one yard. Third and seven from the 43. Out of shotgun, and they blitzed the corner and left Paris Campbell completely uncovered for the easy first down, brought down to the 30. Okay, and I just wanted to check here at the goals. Uh, it did not count that first Jonathan Taylor touchdown, so apparently we do have to score the touchdowns ourselves and not just give them to Jonathan Taylor. First and 10 out of shotgun. We will take the snap. And we're going to throw this downfield to Jonathan Taylor, and that is tipped out of the air. One of these days, that deep ball is going to work. Second and 10 out of shotgun. Take the snap, and a slant right over the middle will be intercepted by the linebacker who just sat in the middle waiting for it. And Tennessee would get another field goal, so it is now 7-6. to six. We will come out with a play action, and then we will go downfield. That is caught by Paris Campbell for the first down, brought down in Titans territory. And now on first down again, we will go right back to Jonathan Taylor. And Taylor will not get much on that play, only a gain of two. And now Paris Campbell is injured. That's not exactly great. And it was also only a gain of one. 
So now second and nine from the 47. Taylor is the running back. We go right up the middle to Jonathan Taylor, and he is brought down to the 45. Third and seven out of shotgun. Take the snap and just looking for the first down. We will throw that to the outside. That is caught for the first down by Paris Campbell's replacement. I don't even know who that is. Okay, so apparently that is John Ross out there at receiver. Now from the 33, we'll line up under center and go right back to Taylor up the middle. And Taylor will fight for about a four-yard gain. Second and six out of shotgun from the 29. We will take the snap. And we're going to lob that to the outside. That will be tipped out of the air, intended for John Ross. Third and six out of shotgun. Take the snap. And looking over the middle of the field, and we will fire downfield for Ashton Doolin, who was brought down at about the 10. First and goal from the 9, out of shotgun. We'll take the snap. And we will fire that to Michael Pittman, and that is picked off. Just a dumb read from me. That is now two interceptions on the day. It is now first and 10. We still have a lead here of one point. And we have about a minute to go in the half, and we will go downfield to Mo Alley Cox, who will make the catch for the first down to the 36. First and 10, out of shotgun. We will drop back to pass here. And no one's coming open. We're going to try to run, but we get sacked back at the 29. Second and 16. We are sending everybody deep here. We will take the snap, and we're going to lob that downfield for John Ross, and that is tipped out of the air. Third and 16 out of shotgun, trying to keep something going on this drive. And we will throw that downfield to Mo Alley Cox, who will make the catch for the first down, and we will burn a timeout. First and 10. We have one timeout remaining. We will take the snap and throw the slam right to the outside, caught by Pittman, who will get the first down, and we will burn our final timeout here. And apparently, Coach has decided to go for the field goal here, so we will see if the kicker makes it, and he does. And now we get the ball to start the second half. All right, we're playing okay, minus the two completely dumb interceptions that I've thrown, and we'll take the snap on first down, roll out to the right side, and nobody's coming open, but we will fire downfield, and Pittman makes the catch to the 42. First and 10 out of shotgun from the 42. We'll take the snap and we'll throw that slant route and that is getting picked off as well. The linebacker was once again just sitting there waiting for it. And once again, the defense is able to hold them to a field goal. So we will come out and try to pass again and once again, go over the middle and overthrow everybody. All right, we're just going to go back to running the ball with Jonathan Taylor and Taylor will get the handoff, break that tackle and Taylor will fight for about a seven yard gain here. And now on third and three, I get the feeling they are ready for the run here. So we will try a quick pass. And it's going to be a slant route to the outside that is caught by John Ross for the first down to the 41. And I didn't show it because there was no commentary over it. But apparently if you uh, audible, there's a chance you can pull a false start. So that's interesting. Hands off to Jonathan Taylor on first and 15. We'll set up a second and 10. And now right back to the slant routes out of shotgun. They blitz the linebacker over the middle and we will find Ashton Doolin for the first down into Tennessee territory. Can we manage to not turn the ball over this time in Titans territory from the 41 yard line? We will hand it to Jonathan Taylor up the middle and Taylor will get a gain of about three. Second and seven from the 38. Out of shotgun. We'll take the snap and nobody's coming open deep downfield, but we will have some room to run here and we will try to slide, but we fumble the ball. Are you kidding me? I hit the slide button, but it didn't want to do anything. And now the Titans have the lead thanks to four turnovers from us here. Three interceptions and a fumble. We will just go back to Jonathan Taylor. And Taylor up the middle will get a decent gain here on first down to set up a second and four. Second and four out of a five wide set. We will take the snap. And no one's coming open. We're going to try to run again with Grayson. And we will slide well before anyone gets anywhere near us for a first down. So now first and ten again from the 46-yard line. We will take the snap and hand off to Jonathan Taylor. And Taylor will get nothing on that play. All right, I guess he did end up getting a yard. Now out of shotgun, we will take the snap. And look deep downfield. We're going to lob this downfield, and I think we overthrew John Ross, and that's incomplete. At least it wasn't underthrown. I would rather overthrow every pass than underthrow any of them. Third and nine. Out of shotgun, and we will go to Michael Pittman on the outside, who makes the catch for the first down, and he will be brought down at the 38. First and 10 from the 38. We are going right back to Jonathan Taylor, and Taylor up the middle will get a couple yards. All right, never mind. He got nothing on that play. Now second and 10 from the 38. Go back to Jonathan Taylor and once again getting hit for nothing, but actually losing two. Third and 12 from the 40. Grazer from under center will take the snap and we will throw this comeback route to Michael Pittman for the first down. He is brought down to the Titans 24. I feel like Pittman is probably the guy that I need to get involved a lot more in this offense. Now first and 10 from the 24. Back to Jonathan Taylor and Taylor to the outside. Won't get anything on that play. This will probably be the last play of the third quarter if I can get the snap off here, and I will hand off to Taylor up the middle who runs over one man and will get brought down at the 18 to set up third and three. Third and three out of shotgun. Grayson will take the snap and we'll throw that one to Jonathan Taylor over the middle for the first down. He is brought down inside the 10. 
I doubt we're going to hit our goal for three touchdowns that coach wanted, but we at least have a chance for the win. First and goal from the nine, from under center. And I don't want to risk throwing that over the middle, so we are going to get sacked on the play back at the 10. You know what? Let's just give it to Jonathan Taylor. See if he can get this a little closer. Second and goal from the 10. And it's going to go to Taylor. Taylor to the outside. Does not get the blocking he needs and is brought down at the 11. Third and goal from the 11. Out of a five wide set, we'll take the snap and a quick pass to Mo Alley Cox into the end zone. Touchdown Colts and we will take the lead. And our defense would actually force the first turnover of the game for Tennessee. So we get the ball to 28 yard line. Start with a handoff to Taylor who was hit in the backfield. Second and 12 out of shotgun here. We will take the snap and throw that to Mo Alley Cox on the outside. And that probably should have been picked off, honestly. Third and 12 from the 30. We line up under center. We'll take the snap and go to a wide open Mo Alley Cox. But we were hit as we were throwing, so it's a little short. And on fourth and 12, we do get the field goal from Rodrigo Blankenship. So now it's up to the defense. And the Titans would go three and out and pump the ball away. So now we have the ball with 7.49 to go in the game. Hand off to Jonathan Taylor. And Taylor will break one tackle, bounce it to the outside, and end up with a gain of maybe one. Still second and 10. So they say he didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. But we will go back to Jonathan Taylor again. And Taylor is met and brought down quickly for a gain of one. Third and nine out of shotgun. Grayson will take the snap. And we're going to go downfield to John Ross and get picked off for the fourth time today. The safety baited us into making that throw. And then we get laid out on a block. But once again, the defense would force a three and out. So we have the ball back with a chance to chew off a little bit more clock. Hand off to Jonathan Taylor. And Taylor will get the first down on the first play of the drive. So now first and 10 from the 34. We are coming back out under center and giving it right back to Taylor up the middle. And Taylor this time will get a gain of maybe one. All right, we are going to try a pass, but it will be a screen pass. Second and nine out of shotgun. Take the snap and lob it to Jonathan Taylor, but the blocking does not set up, and he will lose a yard. I take that back. I think he lost two yards. Now third and 11 out of a five wide set. We will take the snap. Looking over the middle, and we're going to try to force that to Mo Alley Cox, and that's tipped out of the air. And the Titans take over at the three-yard line here. First and 10, a two-yard run from Haskins. Second and eight, a three-yard run from Haskins. Third and six, a 30-yard pass to a former Colt, T.Y. Hilton, who's apparently playing for Tennessee now. And then on first and 10, then an eight-yard pass to Hooper. Second and two, a four-yard sack from Yannick Ngakwe. And on third and six, a one-yard loss. And they end up punting it away. Or maybe they went for it there because we do have the ball at the 40-yard line. And we'll come out with a handoff to Taylor up the middle, and Taylor will get maybe a yard. Second and nine. We are a minute 24 from getting our first win on the season. And a handoff to Taylor, who will try to bounce it to the outside, and he may have gotten a couple yards on that one. Third and eight. A minute 19 to go in the game. Out of shotgun, we will take the snap. And throw the slant right over the middle and overthrow John Ross, so it leads to a fourth and eight. That was a chance to ice the game. And on fourth and eight... Blankenship would make the field goal, making this a nine-point game, which pretty much ices it anyway. Let's just see if Tennessee gets any garbage time points here. A pass to T.Y. Hilton, a thrown away ball, second and 10, pass to Robert Woods, and that would end the game with a sack from DeForest Buckner. We finally get our first win of the season despite throwing four interceptions. Our defense played amazing today, keeping them only to 12 points despite the multiple turnovers from the offense. And these final stats are not very pretty. 18 of 32 for 255, one touchdown and four interceptions on the day. And then on the ground, Jonathan Taylor, 29 carries for 113 yards and a touchdown. And receiving Mo Alley Cox, four for 67 and a score. Paris Campbell, four for 58 before he got hurt. And then John Ross came in two for 22. But Ryan Tannehill did not exactly have a great day either. 18 for 32, 187, no touchdowns and a pick. And it looks like Derrick Henry is injured because Hassan Haskins was the running back. He only had 63 yards and receiving T.Y. Hilton 5 for 73. No one else really did anything. Thanks for taking the reins and demonstrating some accountability earlier this week. That showed a lot of heart and leadership. Still though, I wasn't thrilled with our offense, but a W is a W, I guess. Hopefully this gets us rolling on to the next one. We gained 100 legacy. Any experience? No, of course not. Why would we earn that? And in the next video, we will take on the currently undefeated Denver Broncos. They are 4-0, and and now they have Kareem Hunt at running back, so they must have traded for him. But anyway, we get our first win of our career. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys next time.